with the lovely Lee Majors. Very nice to have you. And uh, now, if, if you haven't checked out uh, our Channel 4 website, please do. And please keep sending us your bits and pieces. We do appreciate them. We particularly thank uh, the fantastic Gillian Verge up in Glasgow who emailed us uh, this very funny clip. Now, I think it's, it's, I think it's cute. I think it's cute and funny, but some people may find it a little offensive. Put it this way, if you find vets in practice tough going, um, <coughs> avert, avert your eyes now. So, bionic eye away, sir. And uh, check this out. <laughs> Gets better. Do that? <laughs> I can't do that. How's it doing that? I think with some sort of camera trick. Don't feel too dismayed. Uh, but a talented penis, nonetheless. You'll have to bionic. Remember. Possibly bionic. <laughs> <laughs> God, if only they were doing you now. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but listen, time now, time now for my second guest. Uh, she is the oldest member of the royal family, and her name's Liz. But you won't catch her choking on a fishbone, for it's Liz Smith! Down. May I thank you, first of all, <laughs> for the services of those two splendid footmen. They were nice, weren't they? Yes, yeah. they were. Thank you, Graham. Not at all. <laughs> now, do you want to shake your hat off? You can leave it on, but you can take it off if you wish. I think I'll take it off. Oh, all because right. Because we royalty do, you know. When we're <laughs> relaxing, we take off the crown jewels. <laughs> Difficult to believe sometimes, because we're a bit on our dignity. But nevertheless, here goes. You've really got into that part very quickly, haven't oh, you, Liz? Yes, yes, yeah. I think I'm I think I'm a natural queen mother, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> now, Lee, you've been in the country a while now, haven't you? Mm -hmm. Yeah. And have have you seen the royal family with Liz in it? Yes, it's wonderful. Isn't I'm a big fan. Fantastic. I'm a big fan. Yes. Oh, that's great. Yes. And now do you do, have you seen Lee? Oh yes. Yeah. Isn't he though? Yes, oh. isn't he gorgeous? Oh, oh yeah. I feel like I'm on blind yeah. date. Yeah. <laughs> 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 And that's the bionic arm. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Because in, in the downtimes, because I always find this interesting talking to actors, Lee was talking about being in a park and stuff. But yeah. with actors, there's the job of acting. But then often what's quite interesting is all those jobs you have to do when you're not doing the yes. acting. Yes, yes. And you've had, I know you've been a postwoman. Oh, in my hard times, I was all sorts of things. All sorts of things. I was a, a, a postwoman. And uh, I worked in a bag factory looking for holes. <laughs> looking for holes in bags. I did anything to earn a penny. Yes. That's no living, yes. is it? It isn't. It's all rather sad, isn't it? So, but presumably you were looking for a hole other than the one in the top of the bag. Uh, yes, yeah, you, you had to put your hand in the bag, look for holes, and put it down there if it was OK, and look on that side if it wasn't. And but we always wondered who did that, didn't we? <laughs> I did it. <laughs> <laughs> I did any old thing there. Oh, well, but but what, what's, what's, I, I don't know whether it's great or bad or whatever, but you've become a, a big star, sort of older than most people become oh. a big star. Oh. So is it, what's the best thing? Having been through all that crap and horribleness... All the years what, what's the best of, thing of, now? of the, you know, yeah. working for peanuts for nothing, for, you know, uh, struggling and all that kind of thing. Yeah, and then to be... What's the best thing what? What's the best thing about being a star now? <laughs> I know I, 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 I know a lot of my own questions. <laughs> Honestly, I don't blame you. Um, 
What, what, what's the best thing? About being a star now. Or oh, we could just give it up. Well, I... <laughs> well, I, I don't... It was a very bad question. <laughs> I've had a glass of wine and well, I thought uh, it was... No, no, I don't think I'm a star yet. I'm still straining and struggling and hoping <laughs> and wishing and... Oh, I'm being watched wait. by 10 million people a week on BBC One who love you. Oh, do they? They do. Oh, thank you. <laughs> no, no, thank you. No, no. Oh, thank you. Uh, well, it's nice. I, I like it. But now, uh, I love what you do. I absolutely love what you do. I love the, I love the things you're in. And Good. when you're in them, I think, oh, brilliant, Good. brilliant. Good. But do you ever get a bit tired of, of playing, well, sort of, slightly doddery, basically sort of mad old people? <laughs> but I've been a mad old person since I was a little girl. <laughs> I've never been young, and I've never been not mad. <laughs> you know, there's oh a strange God. truth in that. How did you get home? Look at it. My granddad gave it to me oh. when I was seven. Oh, yes. Now, here's a fun thing. Here's a fun thing. Now, you both, cosmopolitan people traveling, flying, oh, giving yes. tears. Oh, yes. Yeah. Have yes. you ever yes. had, I'm not looking for an anecdote here, uh, yes. <laughs> have you ever had uh, the lost luggage situation? Oh, yeah. Yeah. Oh, we all have it yes. one time or another. Yeah. All right, but no, the thing is, we found out that items of lost luggage, you know, yes. if, you, you get, if you get off a plane, you know, if you get off a plane and you're standing by the carousel and your luggage doesn't show up, right? If that goes unclaimed, what's really nice is that the airlines don't give that stuff to charity. They auction us. <laughs> they do. do they? And the money goes towards baggage handlers' Christmas bonuses. <laughs> um, <laughs> and, no, there is. There's an auction. So anyway, this Let's week... Let's hope it's worth auctioning. Oh, no. This oh. week, I went to one of these auctions yeah. to buy some of the lost luggage. No. It just sounded... No, oh. it just sounded... Lee doesn't believe me. Proof is here because I took my little. I took the M Peggy thing. Proof <laughs> that I've, I've oh, come to the home of poor people's yeah. But here as well. Yeah, you, you're here my lovely magic. friend. <laughs> <laughs> there she is. A sack of mixed linen. You love it, Liz. Oh, shopping for days. Oh, that, that's shop. That's Auction shop king, ladies and gentlemen. Look what I did get. Look, mid-century chic. Bit of pastel there. Well, that was crap. That was very easy to buy, that thing. No one, actually, no one did it. It was like a pound. Uh, oh, I'm too frightened to open these cases. <laughs> I'm too scared to keep them closed. I'm so sorry. <laughs> Possibly, I will be very sorry, for here are the very bags I bought. They're here. Thank you very much, Thank man you. in shirt. Goodbye. <laughs> and uh, can we just say, well done, audience, for applauding luggage. Um, <laughs> they did, didn't they? Yes, yes. They, did. yes they did. Now, we're going to be going through uh, this luggage. I've no idea what's in it. So, for safety reasons, I'm going to be wearing gloves. So, if you want to have some gloves. Oh, there. yes, they're definitely oh, mine. Oh, I think they're more you. I think they're. Oh, yes, I love them. <laughs> <laughs> now, thing is, thing is, here's the thing. We thought, before we went through the luggage, wouldn't it be great, wouldn't it be great, if we found a nice pair of white underpants that we could send to Bernard in New York? Uh, he loved them. We, that's that's fit, the weekend. If it doesn't fit, you can't commit. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you can't convict. If it doesn't fit, you can't convict. You'll just sit some gloves. <laughs> when you said if it doesn't fit, you can't commit, I think it meant oh. sex. But there you go. <laughs> I didn't get your OJ reference. What the hell am I talking about? Oh, yes. So we don't know what's going to be here, but we might find, if we find some white pants to send to Brief Boy, that'll be brilliant for some old Bernard, right? Yeah. But the thing is, if we find some white pants in this luggage, someone in our audience is going to be delivering it by hand to New York. Someone in the audience is going to New York. Oh! All right, so I'll start slowly. Oh, has, yeah. this, has this been sniffed? No, I haven't got a thing. What's no, that? I mean, is it dark? Was it a credit card? It? No, it's someone. I don't know what that is. Just jump. What's. Oh my what god. Is it? Liz. What? Tell me. It's Tell me. A I slightly don't. used knit, knit comb. comb. Knit comb. <laughs> well, no. This is going to be disgusting. Look out in case the knit comb. It's very scary. Because you do something. The person who travels with a knit comb, comb. 
must have knits. Essentially, yes. <laughs> Do you think they declare them at customs? Well, it depends where they are, doesn't it? Oh, some nice little leggings there. They do, you? Oh, um, yes. Oh, look, Liz. <laughs> you look good. <laughs> Why would you pass? Oh, that's mine. That's you. <laughs> that's you. Oh, that's so me. Why it? would you pack it? Would you <laughs> A bit like dusting That's later. That's so queenly, isn't it? So royal, isn't it? Uh oh. Actually, it is rather. <laughs> look at the oh my God! Look at the waste on them. <laughs> throw them down. Throw them down. Through them, no, don't. You? She wants them. No, Liz. <laughs> away. I'm done with that. I'm going to move on. Move on. Next one. Next one. Yeah. We must find pants. Running out of time. Oh, look at this. Oh, oh my God. God. Oh, oh thank you. This is that, what sir. you see them struggling with. And, I know. And they're saying. But this is again, it's very nice. Out. I know you can tell they're a bit posh because they put a little river. Oh on. my they god. They put a little river so they can find the it. The contents are it. going to be wonderful. Mm. And I still, know it. still, they didn't find it. Yeah, no, no. Uh, Ooh. Ooh. There's a little kerchief for Just, you. Oh, oh. Uh, mm. Now, who mm. travels? Who travels? Without <laughs> ten <laughs> kitchen knives. Nobody, nobody travels without ten kitchen knives. It's the first thing I've packed. That is so good. Oh, but look, they're always thinking. Oh, yes. I need that because of my cat. <laughs> my cat hairs are all over the sofa. Now, if you have an interest you know, in the, the plastic bag... Cats make an awful mess all over the cat hairs and everything. You know. And Betty, the donkey will, when she comes to see me, because she will sit on my sofa. <laughs> she will sit on my sofa along with my cat. Lovely. Yes, yes. Beautiful, darling. Beautiful. Yes. And we just remind Lee that it was in this bag that was in this yes. bag. Yes. And now it's all over your coat. But we have yes. a neat comb, you're all right. Yes. Um, he looks immaculate. Ladies and gentlemen. <laughs> It's a tree cutter. Could it be Fred West's bag? Oh. Did he just make oh. Look at this. Oh, my this. God, look. What's he going to do when he gets there? I don't know. But he wanted to whistle while he works. Oh. Look, he's got, he's got a little thing here. Oh, yeah. Does it work? Oh, nothing in it, damn. There no, because you, you know what? They make you take the batteries out, don't they? Do you know? When you go through. Can I just say, I think in terms of safety, Liz, <laughs> batteries are the least of your worries. There's a man a plane with a circular saw. You think they'd stop you going through with that? I just thought so. You think they'd notice it? You think so? Oh. Here's more fleece. Ooh, and, look. Oh, hang on. Ooh, oh, we that's... stopped all his white pants. Oh. All the red pants. All the red pants. slightly soiled. Oh, uh, yeah. These can go. These can go to Bernard in New York. But who is taking these pants to New ah. York? Now, who? That's the point. Yes, yeah, who? I'll tell you. It's the oh. first person to the stage who can prove well, that what? they're not wearing pants. First person to the stage. <laughs> oh, oh, it's a race. It's a race. Oh, she's there. Oh. Well done, that woman. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh, look, we've got to Hello. Out there. Stand, up, stand over here, lady. No, what, what's your name? Laura. Laura. No, Laura. Who does the and, inspection? Well, now, you're not wearing pants. So, one second now. Where's my little man with mini cam? Come here, sir. <laughs> okay. Well, I've got him wearing gloves. <laughs> uh, right, you go, uh, over here, over here, over here. Quick lift up. Quick lift up. Don't worry. Back bottom. <laughs> see, from here, I can see that she's not wearing pants. Can anyone see that? No. I don't think they want to. <laughs> oh. Now, can anyone make out what that is? <laughs> yes, they can. She's not wearing pants. Well done, lady. What now? What was your name again? Laura. Laura, Laura, you're going to New York, care of a lovely friends at lastminute.com. Uh, well done to you. Thank, Thank you. you very much for our talk about Jerry Halliwell dyeing her hair blonde. Uh, she recently dyed her pubic hair as well. At least I assume she did, because she said she was not going out with that ginger twat anymore. <laughs> Good night, everybody. Thank you.